Well, a $2 million industrial agreement signed for members of the Water and Sewage Corporation. The three-year agreement is retroactive to July 1st, 2022 and expires June 20th, 2025. Union President Montgomery Miller says the deal includes a number of components, including modernized job descriptions, enhanced annual assessments, better incentives based on performance, and a reduction in unjustified transfers. There have been some challenges over the past at the corporation where we've seen um, what I would say less than uh, beneficial movement of uh, management employees, not adequate time, um, not adequate justification. Um, you can, I would leave it to you to determine and to draw conclusions as to why those things would happen. Um, but I give the corporation um, and uh, the stakeholders of the corporation great credit for taking steps to minimize and to, to reduce the, the prospect. Because at the end of the day, the Bahamian people are trying trusting that uh, the technical professionals of the corporation will over time become expert in their subject areas and we don't want to just move them around um, at whim and fancy. We want those unless they have real performance challenges, they should continue um, carrying out their functions. On hand for the signing Minister of Works, the Honorable Alfred Sears, along with Labor Minister, the Honorable Keith Bell. All staff from the executives to the middle managers to the non-managers will now have updated, modernized job descriptions and objective performance-based scorecards with regular engagement, coaching, training, and annual performance assessments. As I close, I note the significance of this event as it marks the first time in well over a decade that both unions at the corporation have industrial agreements yes. with almost two years left to go.